I have this Duramax turbine housing that I need to machine. I'm going to machine this to a 6.0 power stroke, 66.4 by 72 turbine wheel. It's a 10 blade, they whistle really loud, they sound great. Let me show you what this looks like before we do the machine work. If you have an LLY Duramax, this turbine is a direct fit for the LLY where you don't have to do any machine work. And I'll also link to this turbine wheel in the description box. I'm not sure which version this turbo is. It could be the LMM, the LML, but this is not an LLY. The LLY turbine is the same thing as the 2003 turbine except that it's a 13 blade on the Duramax but it's interchangeable with the 2003 6.0 turbine from the Power Stroke 2003 model. I'll have to machine this out for the exducer of the turbine and then I'll machine it for the radius so that it matches where the veins are. Before starting this I sandblasted the whole housing on the inside here and made sure all this is clean and my lathe chucks are already machined to grab this inside diameter. So I'm gonna slap it up on the machine and machine the opposite side so I can grab it on the other side and do the machine work on this side. The purpose of me grabbing it here and machining the opposite side is for accuracy on a three jaw chuck. Here's what it looks like after I surfaced it. I just kinda of faced that area and then I went down and dug in a little bit here that way I can grab it right there. If I start digging too deep in there, it's going to be too thin. It's going to weaken this and then you risk it falling off the machine. And with a housing over 20 pounds, that can be really dangerous. This thing has just enough swing clearance. I've already cut this for other housings. Now you can see what this looks like when it's mounted. I'll also go ahead and turn it on for you. You can see how close it is. No wobble out of that V-band area. So I'm going to start making some cuts on this thing. I'm just going to run it at super low RPM, probably 280 RPM at most. distance so I had to extend my boring bar right here to be able to cut it all the way back there. This part right here I just matched to the vein. I'll pull it off there and show you what that looks like. Here's how it turned out. It turned out really nice. You can see how the radius is properly machined for the turbine wheel. And I've got it cut out 0.9 millimeter larger than the turbine wheel. I did a little bit of porting on the inlets. I'm going to flip it over so you can see what it looks like. Compressor wheel upgrade is a 63.5 by 88. It's a little bit taller, I think, than the LLY turbo. But the LLY has, it might have the same wheel as this. It's just not a billet one, or it's pretty close. So it's 63.5 by 88 millimeter. This being a Duramax, normally these turbos, the LLY is called a GT3788 VA. 88 means that it's got the 88 millimeter exducer, which should be the 63.5 by 88 compressor wheel. It does require some machining for this billet wheel to fit. I think it's just on the back though. It's been a while since I've done those. I do have some upgraded parts for this. I've got replacement unison rings, the little VGT arm, the veins, I've got those. There's three or four different size veins. You have to measure the width on those. This turbine housing had 13.2 millimeter veins. You have to have the matching veins for the matching turbine housing. It's possible to machine the turbine housings 
to use the larger veins, but then you gotta remove all of the vein posts and it's just a lot of work to do that. So I avoided that by just machining it to the turbine wheel and not to the vein. So I had to slope the vein down area down to the turbine wheel. I do have some good upgrades for this. 67.7 millimeter compressor housing wheel. That's a direct fit for the Duramax. So you could buy this comp compressor housing and wheel and directly slap that on. I've got a lot of these in stock. I haven't really advertised them, so I'll link to those in the description box. All the parts used in this build. Last thing you need to know if you're working on one of these and you want to upgrade to that turbine wheel, the back of the bearing housing has to be machined 40 thousandths. Here's the Duramax bearing housing. The back of this does have to be machined down or otherwise it touches that turbine, that turbine blade right there. I'm not really sure why that is. I'm pretty sure the LOY would have to be machined down too. Uh, I might have to look into that. It's just been a while since I've done an LOY upgrade. A lot of them that I get here that I've done, they were like LMMs, LMLs, and I just convert them over to this turbine and then the LLY compressor wheel upgrade or I could do the 67.7 millimeter compressor wheel. Some of the Duramaxes are upgradable to this. You can convert from the boreless over to LLY again if you change this plate. So I've got matching plates for this and matching housings. You can just convert L over your LMM, but you need to really upgrade that turbine wheel and machine the back of the bearing housing down 40 thousandths and then machine the turbine housing to fit. Unless it's an LOY, it, it should be a direct fit. When I machine this, what I did here is you use the vein as a reference and you just want it to match up there. So it's just, the two should be flat together, pretty even. And that's always worked really well for me when I've done these. I've never had any that rubbed or anything. Because these veins are shorter, these are the 13.2 millimeter veins because they're shorter. This, uh, I had to flare this down right here. So it got flared down. Otherwise, the height should be the same as the vein. If you wanted to actually use the 15 millimeter veins that this is what that turbine came with is the 15 millimeter veins you'd have to remove all these posts and then you have to machine that down i guess you'd have to machine it down 1.8 millimeter because it's the difference between the 15 millimeter and the 13.2 millimeter veins i guess that would go down 1.8 millimeter then you'd put new posts in there and then you would use your 15 millimeter veins i guess that's what you would do i've never done it before but it, the turbine housing castings are like the same thing. LLY would have the 15 millimeter veins and then the LMM, LML, they have different size veins. This one just happens to be a 13.2, but there are different, there is another size vein that's even smaller. It's like 12.8 or something weird like that. Thanks for checking out the channel. I really enjoy doing this for you guys. I've been doing this for 14 years now and I'll link all the parts in the description box that I have used in this build and replacement parts that you can use to upgrade yours. Stay subscribed for some more videos. I'll show you a sneak peek of what's to come. Here's a 6.7 turbo that's got the dual compressor wheel. So it's got fins on this side and fins on the back side where you can't see it. And you get compressed air coming out of this outlet and this outlet. So I'm going to tear this one down. So if you want to watch that, stay subscribed.